Okay, so I decided to do a vlog for this trip. It's about 5 a.m. on Friday morning. Um, just uh, getting up, getting going. Decided to be dressed and ready to go by 5. I have like two minutes. But I have most of everything pretty much there and I have to run to the store and get gas and do all that stuff but just a quick getting on the road getting ready uh, I'll probably string these all together and have a video up for you it's been a while but oh, I've been busy I have a second job now, so things are kind of crazy. Uh, I'm going to get to loading, and I'll see all of you at, well, I think I might do one before we get going, and then another update when we're at Newville. I'll see. I'll see if I remember. See ya. So, made it to Newville, uh, lots of cool stuff. We got Brad in the background, hey! Uh, our little camp here, uh, I'm new to vlogging, can you tell? Um, probably show trenches after everyone's gone. I don't like showing them when everyone's there. I might take some pictures at night if there's anything cool. Uh, in the back we got a nice big uh, cannon, a little graveyard, um, and the monument. Long drive, not the best drive. Uh, lots of snow, I fishtailed a couple times coming through uh, up by Youngstown. Uh, a lot of people still setting up. New person training is about to start. Formations, ah, oh, gosh, in two hours. Yeah, it is what it is. Um, and then there's John. Um, it's really about it. Probably do some more tomorrow before I actually go into the trenches and whatnot gonna get cold but at least it's not wet because <laughs> last two times I was out here it was super fucking wet and I wasn't gonna deal with that again I was gonna forgo the event it's only $25 I can save more money not coming here and buying what I need online than, than come in here and buying what I need and getting the gas, getting the food, all that. So, but thankfully it is not raining, it is not wet, at least not right now. It might snow, it has snowed. Just little drifts, little flurries. I guess I'll see y'all later. Even though this is all going to be strung together and I don't know why I'm saying later. So, first night went well. Um, cold. Cold. Very cold. Um, it's like 25 out. I think. I'm glad I have my thermals. Um, I'm currently in my car. If you can't tell. I know you can't see shit right now. Um, I tried to get some some footage, but I don't think it was very well. If not, you saw it right before this. Um, yeah. Um, did an assault, failed horribly. Uh, Germans don't want to get out of their bunker, their bunkers. Which I don't blame them. It's fucking cold. Um, soup is okay. 
bread was better than last time. Fucking bread. I, I don't know what the fuck was up with last time. Um, I know I didn't vlog it, I haven't said anything about it, but man. It was like... It was tough, but crumbly. And it had like... It's a hair in it? on the bottom, like it was on the, um, God, I, 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 I forget the name of it, I think it was called, I used to be a baker, I used to be an artisan baker, I forget the name of that canvas bullshit, um, I know it was just painting canvas that we cut up and proof bread under and shape it and different shit, um, and I know, I know, I can already hear it, I'm already on there probably somewhere, my glasses are Farby, my scarf is Farby, and I'm Farby, because I'm fat, I get it, it's fine, um, glasses I normally take off for pictures, uh, I don't normally have this scarf, but, uh, fuck, I, I, I just needed a scarf. I needed something to keep warm. Nobody's checking it. Nobody knows what it is. It's, I, I actually got this in Norway. It's actually my favorite scarf. It has, like, Viking symbols on it and shit, not work. Um, I, at some point, got a cut on my hand. I don't know when, I don't know how, I don't know what from. I'd hazard a guess I'd say barbed wire. Because we are working with real barbed wire out there. Uh, yeah. yeah. Our assaults failed. It, it, it just, it, it was not pretty. Uh tried lighting grenades, and that didn't work, and I think I've fired all of three rounds this time around. Yeah, so, uh, tomorrow's a new day, tomorrow's a better day. It's going to be warmer, it'll be nice, I won't need to have this. <coughs> um, I'm almost out of grappa though. <laughs> I should have bought. I should have brought the whole bottle. I wasn't thinking. Like, oh, I'll bring just just my flask. Just just my flask. I'll be fine. No, the, them fuckers love fucking grappa. Half of them didn't know what it was. The other half loved it and wanted two, three hits of it. I'll have to get them just a couple bottles of grappa for the cause, for the good of the Republic, next time. Uh, well, I'm gonna try and get to bed, it's getting almost 11, I have to get up at 6, so I can have breakfast at 7, and then we start fighting at 8. Nine? Nine? I think nine. I'll figure it out. It's a lot of sitting in the trench anyway, it's not really fighting. Uh, actually it is eight. And then we take part in an assault at nine. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Um. Not sure if it, this cough is from the cold, probably, or I had my first cigarette tonight, and it was unfiltered. It was horrible. It was warm. <laughs> I felt warm for like ten minutes afterwards, and it was so nice. But I, I, I am not a smoker. Oh my gosh. I'm 20. 
26. Yeah. Soon to be 27. I, 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 and that was the first time I've ever smoked a cigarette. Tasted like shit. Damn, was it good and warm. Uh... Well, I'm going to sign off before I keep rambling, um, so, end of day one. Hey, another shitty video quality, I'm by a fire. Um, uh, it's still cold, it's only 33, found out last night it was like 10 below, or not 10 below, it was 10 fucking cold well another event close um it's uh it was a good event it was cold but it was a good event um wish we did a little bit more uh oh I'll, uh, gosh, I can barely think right now, I'm, I'm tired, I had a couple swigs of grappa, uh, I'm gonna go, gonna wait for the Belgians to come back, get in contact with them, uh, one of them I'm probably gonna link for y'all, cause, and that fire is getting bigger and hotter <laughs> move it back gonna wait for the bell gates get back um and uh i'm gonna link up with one of them i think his name is gray i'm shit with the names uh he had some gopro or something like a gopro i forget what it is i definitely need to talk to him uh some footage which, if I can get, well, I won't get it from him, but if I can, <sighs> sorry, my arms are tired, so I'm going to keep switching. Um, I'm going to get from him and link that in with uh, this, because he got, he got one of our salts. And whatnot. After this, another night, another cold night. Probably gonna be in my car again. Did some work in the trench, so I'll show that tomorrow. Night. Hey, uh, in Gettysburg, right after Newville, I normally head over here. Uh, there's a tour going on over there. Seems somewhat informal. Uh, at the 29th Monument. What well, used to be my favorite monument, and then I found out, uh, <laughs> after I joined the unit, that, oh, one of my favorite monuments is actually my unit. Which is pretty cool. Uh, probably gonna run some sutlers, maybe get some cider, uh, cider, there's a real good cider place right by the Maryland Sutler, um, I take a short video there, can you get some King's Onion Soup and then might head home, don't know, not in a big rush, but, eh, what it is. It's right over there. You can probably hear him. Maybe not over the wind, though. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's pretty funny. Uh, interesting. With the trench line. The ninth OVI dug here. I just came from trenches. Kind of.
kind of can barely see it. There's a little bit of bump over there. And we dug that, and then we're told to leave. And then we're told to come back and help defend it. Say, uh, kind of a thankless job, but somebody had to do it. Gettysburg's always an interesting town. Well, pretty much got nothing. My other YouTube page, I pretty much go play for play through the Battle of Gettysburg and doing uh, all kinds of different stuff with that. I have a documentary on the First Minnesota, another one of my favorite units. I think if I was able to reenact a specific unit and not fully care, even though I probably could, and nobody would give me shit about it, uh, it'd probably be First Minnesota. Um, pretty soon, though, once I have my 1914 Zouave uniform. I'm gonna go, uh, might start fighting Zouave in Civil War, too. It, it, it's damn near the same uniform. Nobody's gonna give me shit about it. It's still all wool. It's still all, you know, the style and the colors. And it's like, okay, well, might as well do that. One, so... We'll see. Uh, that might get me back in Civil War. I I, I I love doing Civil War reenactment, but my gosh, just something about it. I'm not too keen on returning to, and I don't know why. I I, I, I can't specifically put any one thing to it. Because I love doing formation fighting. I my units a pretty good unit. Company G. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of a personal thing. I'll deal with it eventually. Well, back to World War One. The event was cold. Real fucking cold. I, I was pretty much in my scarf the entire time, except a little bit on Saturday, when we were really doing an assault, and we were running around, trying to kill Germans, but honestly, all of us dying, so that was interesting, um, had some better bread than last year, last time, didn't take much to be better, it was disgusting. Disgusting. This time, man, they had some like legit French peasant bread. They baked it all the way. It was a little bit of sourdough. That was some good shit. And I feel like contacting my old place and getting the nice, you know, three pound miche uh, for the entire unit for the weekend. That'll fill them up. Um, always had good sausage, cheese, bread, you know, panard, wine, panard, wine, whatever, same difference, panard is just watered down wine, we're French, we're allowed to, it's a part of our rations, <laughs> uh, Really, it was, but <laughs> uh, bunch of cold fucking zouaves in the middle of northern Europe in the winter. Yeah, I'm drinking my Pinard. Drank some grappa. Stole that off some uh, 
de another dead soldier. I really didn't. Uh, got to see Wolfgang. He traded a, uh, gosh, what was it? He started out with one cigar. That's what he started the weekend with. He kept trading up. Up and up and up and up. And go. He kept trading up, and it wound up being, he had, what was it, bottle of rum, bottle of, I think, whiskey, bottle of vodka, he got that for a midget, I, I forget the whole story, but he got it for a German midget, uh, that, that's his words, not mine. Uh, he had a six-pack of beer. He had a whole bunch of other shit. And man, there's a lot of cars coming through right now. I really don't want to be out here filming with cars, but eh. Just had my back. Yeah. Um, I'm going to end up might see about going to Monocacy. Uh, I just, I, I don't know right now. I think I'm gonna go back into town, go to Sutler's. I was hoping it was quiet over here. It wasn't as quiet as I had hoped. I'll let y'all know when I head out. See you next time. So, just went through the uh, Monocacy National Battlefield Visitor Center. I wish I had more time. I'd explore more. Maybe next time. Um, gonna drive home. It's about five hours. I think I can do it. I have a Red Bull just in case I start getting a little drowsy. Have some pizza from La Bella. Oh, that was good. Bought some gloves and a sleeping cap from the Maryland Sutler. I, I, I just, I, I wasn't going to spend another uh, cold night anywhere without some period or somewhat period gloves. Uh, drive home. Uh, be home around 10 ish. Uh, I have some pizza, I have water, I have caffeine. It's gonna be a drive, but not, not horrible, I don't think. Uh, looks like I'm gonna be coming in possibly going in and out of Maryland, Pennsylvania, coming in south of Pittsburgh and shooting north. Once I'm South of Pittsburgh, I've done that before. So I had a friend South of Pittsburgh for a little while, and I really wish I could see him, but I don't really have the time, and he hasn't really spoken to me in a while, but yeah. <sighs> Another good weekend. This was a neat neat decision to come down here. It's a beautiful little museum. Get the chance to go there. They're nice. The park interpreter that was at the desk, she was really nice. The one worker, I'm not sure what that was. He, he, he's a good guy. Uh, and then I have a friend that works here in World War One. He's a Zouave with me and kept talking about it, and it's like, you know what, I'm down here, I'm just gonna go. Uh, well, next stop, probably Sheets, or some other gas station, I need to pee before I drive. <laughs> uh, boy, well, I'll let you know when I get home. Bye. So, next day, it's uh, armistice day now, uh, 
overall the trip was good. Monocacy was cool. I wish I had more time. Uh, always a good time in the trenches. Yeah. The actual uh, ride home was pretty. Uh, it's a horrible glare on my glasses. Uh, it's pretty uh, uneventful, but I'd rather it be uneventful. I think I stayed up as much as. Uh, Red Bull let me, and then I passed out. Yeah, I was talking with one of my friends, and I'm like, dude, I gotta go to sleep. I'm like falling asleep in the middle of texting you, and I, I needed sleep. I needed sleep bad, apparently. <laughs> it felt so good to be in a bed. <laughs> God. Uh, my fiance. Ah, uh, good lord. Uh, yeah, another, another trip done, another trip over. It's um, it's gonna be interesting. I gotta. I'm working on my kit. I'm working on my persona. Um. Uh, I have a book, a, uh, I forget the actual term right now, but it's just a book with all the information of a soldier in there. Um, need to get that filled out somehow. My handwriting sucks, and my French isn't as good as it could or should be. Um, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Feels good to be home. Good to be back. Sorry I didn't, you know, go and film in the trenches, show you what we did new. Uh, we actually did a lot. It was, uh, Saturday. We just randomly decided to, uh, not randomly, it was kind of, we're gonna do this. Uh, we decided to do some work on the trenches. Uh, one of my last videos, I went down into our new bay, our new to us bay, and showed you around. And I wish my editing skills were up, and I'd show you uh, everything. But pretty much, we had our one firing step. If you're looking at it from where the T intersection is. We had our one firing bay way off over there. Not firing bay, firing step. Way off over there. And that was fairly well done. It needs some work, but we're happy. It works. You're able to lay on there. You can get two, three people up there. No problem. We made another little one-man firing step. Uh... It was kind of there, kind of not. Uh, one of our guys took that over, and that was pretty much his position the entire time. I kept floating around. I loved the firing stuff that was already made. Just sat there and curled up. So damn cold. Uh, moving to the left. Another almost made firing bay or yeah firing stuff and it needed some work and we did some work honestly we only worked on it for like 30 40 minutes but oh my gosh <laughs> broke up the dirt with some maddox and found some corrugated steel or tin or whatever i don't know I'm not a metallurgist. Um, reinforced the wall. Uh, filled some sandbags with the loose dirt. and 
put that over and we now have a bit more of a protected uh, little position right there. We took, I think what was supposed to be a step and put it on there and then put sandbags over that. Uh, so we have a nice position starting right there and you can fit probably two people, three people if you really need to. Um, working on a stump that's right there, but I don't mind. It's like, it helps you step up. Uh, the, one of the Senegalese, he was saying he wants to do, um, wants to take our, what I think used to be a machine gun nest, or a show shot nest, and maybe dig that out a bit more and get in there and actually do stuff with that and turn that into even just like a three-sided shelter a bomb proof a I kept calling it a hooch and I'm like don't you drink that uh I don't exactly know the proper terminology uh I call it a bomb proof or a bunker a little hideaway a little something to get out of rain and wet and cold have a little tiny stove not much maybe a couple chairs and a table you know if it's cold enough we can all cuddle together and sleep there if we just feel like okay well we have the boutillon the big old pail of food usually soup uh, we have that, set that in there, keep that warm, okay, you three go and go get dinner, and then when you come back, we'll send three more, and just do that, and keep a bucket of hot water on the stove, or something, just something, J just get out of the wind, get out of the cold, get out of the rain. Um, of course, probably once we do that, we'll get kicked out of our bay <laughs> into another bay to do the same damn thing. Uh, it's starting to look good. Um, little, like, offshoot of our bay, or the Senegalese, up. um, that already looked pretty good. We d didn't do any work on that. Uh, we did some clearing. Uh, big shell hole right there. Um, just because that's a good... Everybody forms up there. Everybody uses that as our exit on the French flank. Um, we just go through there. Uh, not sure if I said this before, but we were doing an assault Saturday night. And we were told, go through the breach, make a breach in the German wire. Well, there was already an assault going on, so I think the Belgians and one or two of the Senegalese went out and decide to cut the wire early you know they're not looking it's dark they're not gonna see three guys go and cut wire and they didn't we had a couple breaches made which that was really cool that was really nice uh but we go up there germans don't even know we're there bosch don't even know we're there we start coming up it wasn't until we started screaming, you know, there's a breach, come on, move, move, move. Germans started firing pot shots at us. We started firing back because Zouave were told to hold the breaches, not enter the trenches at all. Cover retreat and cover advance. Uh, we're, I'm sitting at, right beside the breach that my squad is covering. 
I'm on one knee, you know, re fire and load, fire and load. Just taking pot shots wherever I see a muscle flash. Welcome to World War One. Uh, and right as the, I think they were Brits were coming through ours. I, I know I heard Americans, but I'm pretty sure Brits were coming through ours. My thigh cramped up. My gosh, just for like five ten seconds, it just it, it just felt like somebody stabbed me in my thigh, in the back of my thigh. <laughs> so I'm sitting there writhing in pain, right in front of where all these guys are supposed to go. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they thought, oh, he's doing real good acting, making it look like he got shot in the leg. No, <laughs> I'm actually in pain. I can not move. Uh. So... Uh, thankfully it subsided and I was able to walk. I was like 70 to 80 percent the rest of the night. It, it, it was not fun. Having cramps isn't fun. I mean, so last year, last November, I got to a hotel room after it on my way home and I was getting up about ready to go to a shower and one thigh cramps up and I'm like, eh, shit, you know been doing too much work or not doing too much of one thing too much of the other who knows yeah. Ooh, excuse me and it cramps up and I'm like ah shit so I'm sitting there about two minutes in pain on a bed wanting to take a shower it's like okay well that one's starting to go away let's see if I can at least move even though it still really fucking hurts and my other thigh cramped up. So I sat there for like 20, 30 minutes. Because both my thighs were cramping. <laughs> I was writhing in pain on my bed. My hotel room bed. Not a fun time. But the shower felt really good afterwards. Uh... Enough about that, um, it's, spring is going to be interesting, I am hopefully going to have my, uh, 1914 kit by then, I need to talk to the guy about that, um, because that's also the kit I'm going to get married in, I need to start figuring out how I want to do my vows, all that shit. I think I'm gonna start vlogging more too. This is my first attempt at like an actual vlog, so it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. Not many events until spring. Might vlog a couple SCA events that I'm able to go to. Uh. Thing I might want to do is somehow set up and start recording D and D sessions, but that'll be on my other channel, not Simple Walk. And I guess I could do a Simple Walk to Greyhawk, but meh, doesn't really fit this channel. Uh, I'll figure it out. Well, until next time. I'll see ya.